So obviously, Batman is a story that's been told a couple times. Um, tell us about about Beware the Batman and how it's different. Um, I think it's different in that we um, focus on different aspects of the character that that um, people haven't hi highlighted before. So I would say the biggest thing is the villains and just almost kind of approaching the show uh, what if Alfred really wasn't the butler and then I think that kind of really took the show in a different direction so we approached it more uh, what if Alfred was you know uh, Thomas Wayne's um, bodyguard kind of and then everything kind of goes from there yeah that really changes the direction of the entire story and lets you do some cool stuff yeah. Um, and I noticed that the style and the kind of the color palette is a little different too. What made you, how did you decide on the look for the series? Um, I, I mean, the CG was the biggest thing and, and, um, it's, it's more live action. I mean, you're kind of, we're building the world, we're building the set and then we're kind of lighting it and that really changes the look and feel of it in, in, in a way that you can't do with. Uh, traditional 2D animation, but um, it, it still needed to look kind of stylized. So the world, I think, looks real, but it's not hyper-realistic, and it still has sort of a um, stylized, fantastic element to it that you you can't get in the real world. I, I don't, I don't think it should just be, you know, cartoony or realistic. I think having something in between just makes it more interesting. Absolutely. And so we know Batman is different. He has a different relationship with Alfred. And I know that will kind of develop over the season. But how, how will we see him change over this first season? What can we expect? Um, well, I, I think just putting Batman in that different, you know, Bruce Wayne in that a different relationship, I think it brings out different aspects of the, of the character. Um, I, I, w one thing that's interesting is that I think everyone thinks of Batman as kind of a solo guy, but he actually has a lot of family members or teammates, or he has a lot of people he can kind of confide in. So um, he's able to, you're, I don't know, you're able to see aspects of him um, in a way that you don't see with other characters. Um, um, I just think that makes him more interesting. But, but almost putting him in that situation where he's resisting it makes it um, feel different. A difference is he has a different rogues gallery like than normal too. What made you guys decide to kind of go off the, the beaten path with those? Um, in, the, in the beginning when we were developing it, I did look at a lot of Batman comics and past stuff and it just felt like, well, you know, we've kind of done that and what can we really say with those characters that hasn't already been said? And it, it seemed like it was going to be more of a restriction so we went in a different direction and tried to try to focus on maybe smaller villains that you hadn't seen before. Nice. And who else? I know we get Katana or Katana. Who else will we see from the DC verse pop up this season? Um, I'm actually not sure how much I can talk about. Um, uh, we're just trying to. Well, you, you saw Barbara Gordon in episode two. Um, we're. I think we're just taking the Batman lore and the Batman world and we're just shifting it a little bit. So you will see characters who you've seen before. It's just we're, we're just focusing on it differently. I, I mean, I want to say that without spoiling anything. So We don't mind if you spoil here. I feel like if I... I think we're trying so hard to make it different that I feel like if I say it, then it, it the expectations will... People expect it a certain way, and I, I, I want it to feel different. I want it to feel fresh and new. You know, I, I think there's stuff for the hardcore fans, but I think there's also things for new fans, too. So that's another reason why I don't kind of want to spoil it. Yeah, that makes absolute sense. And I know fans were hesitant because that's what fans do. Before something comes out, they want to bash on it before they see it. Have you been pleased with the fan reaction? We don't read the fan reaction, um, um, and it's—I it, I was saying before—it's not out of any disrespect. 
it's it's more I feel like I have to stay focused on on kind of the direction I'm going on but also the other thing is I, I can't prove what we're trying to do until I do it you know so I can talk about it until I'm blue in the face but the the best way to show people what what the show is is by showing them so um, the the process is so long and involved I, I was I was focusing on that and we, you know we kind of knew talking about the show the fans were gonna say well we don't like it and I, I get it but the only way that I could kind of prove that it it, it could kind of work is by doing it. That, I mean, that's all I can kind of say. Yeah, absolutely. The proof is in, is in the show. Yeah, and it's not like I, I, I'm i insensitive to what the, the fans, how they feel about it, but I sort of felt, I mean, the way I feel is by doing a new Batman, I don't think I'm saying the animated series didn't, doesn't exist. I don't think I'm saying, hey, the, the Adam West show doesn't exist it's just a different approach to the character and i think even even going back and looking at at the batman comics it changed from i think dick sprang batman to carmine infantino batman in like one issue without any explanation and um i think it, it went from a uh, uh, Bl black shield to you know yellow circle like within one issue without any explanation and um uh, I, I, I think that's kind of cool, you know. I mean, if you look back, there, that's what's great about the Batman character. He's so iconic. He's so, he, he, he does change. So, yeah, he evolves, and that's okay. Change is good. And he's a very precise and very much the detective in this series. Uh, why did you guys decide to go that direction? And has it been fun to kind of explore that side of Bruce Wayne? Well, same thing. It's 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 stuff that. Um, people haven't really been focusing on, so we're like, you know, that's the thing. I don't think we're trying to say, hey, we're inventing Batman. We're just going, hey, there's these aspects of Batman no one has really focused on. M maybe we should focus on that. Maybe we should kind of bring some of that stuff forward. Yeah, that's a really cool take, to, so we can see a new side of him, something fresh. I mean, someone asked me the other day, like, which comic do you feel represents what you guys are doing? Yeah, and and it, 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 it's, someone was also asking me too, what's my favorite Batman? And it's like, I don't, you know, well, I, I did like the Dark Knight Batman and I did like the Marshall Rogers Batman, but I don't think I'm, I'm trying to do that. I mean, there's so many different, there's so many different Batmans. Yeah, all of them can be your favorites. Yeah. That, that sounds like a cop-out, too, that all of them are my favorites, but, you know, I, I mean, I like different Batman artists, but I don't, I don't know that I can say this one's my favorite, and there are even guys who maybe I didn't like before that now I really, really like, so it, 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 I guess that's the other cool thing about Batman. As I've matured, different aspects of the character I, I now like more than I did when I was a kid. Very cool. And what can you tell us about how Alfred will keep being his mentor and will we get to see him kind of in action this season a little more than we already have? Um, yes. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, same thing. I don't want to give anything away, but yeah, I, I, I think I, I, I think you'll learn more about Bruce Wayne, but you'll see aspects of Alfred in a way you haven't seen before, and that kind of ties into the whole bigger story picture and the backstory.